Yay! Pass it over to Bob Fraction Daddy. still doing this thing? Okay. Welcome to Channel 4 Oki News. Yes, you heard right. Channel 4 now. Third grade and fourth grade. You get, you get the four. Okay. Anyway, we are going to have a fantastic time this year at our houses or wherever we're at. Hopefully we get to meet together. I am Bob Fraction. The water cycle has been in full force in Okinawa here. Cycling rain through the clouds, evaporating up and coming down and coming down. Bringing it down, bringing it down. Anyway, we have our newest reporter, Typhoon Tina, to report at the seawall on the latest on the typhoons. Tina! routine I go through every morning. I call it the quarantine routine. Doesn't actually sound that good, but uh, that's what I call it. So uh, scares off the little uh, scary things like typhoons and stuff. In other news, there are two, two typhoons said to be coming to Okinawa next week. And as they say, takes one to blow one. You know, like blow me and blow and Typhoon joke. Enough about me. How about cicadas? What a transition. <laughs> Susie the scientist knows more about cicadas than a sycamore tree in a thunderstorm. Susie, hit us with your best shot. Yeah, 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 yeah. So then I connected. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. You're here for me. Um, let me get ready. Um, my name is Susie the scientist. And I'm going to teach you today about a very interesting insect called the cicada. Oh, he's so beautiful, isn't he? Just gorgeous. Cicadas are insects that can be found all over the world, but we have them here in Okinawa. And so you may have heard them this summer. And so I want to just tell you a little bit about cicadas and what their life cycle is like. Because in fourth grade, you're going to be learning about life cycles of animals and parts of animals. And so I just want to give you a little, little taste of what we're going to be learning in fourth grade. Okay. So this guy, the cicada, is an adult and he can be found in trees, usually in the summer. In the summer, the female cicadas lay lots of tiny little eggs in trees and plants. Those, those eggs, well, in about six weeks, little tiny things called nymphs come out of the eggs and they crawl down into the dirt. Now the adult cicada, he dies and he's gone forever. And usually you can find these on the ground all over the place at the end of summer. So then the nymphs 
go down under the ground and they suck the juice out of plants. Sometimes they live under the ground for many years, two, three, four years. But then when they come out of the ground two or three years later, they look like this. And then they sit, they climb up onto a tree, and then the adult that we saw to begin with comes out of the, of the shell. So at the, about midsummer, you can find the nymph, which has grown up, it used to be small, and it's gotten much bigger. You can find the skin of the nymph hanging on trees all around the place. The adults climb out, leaving their shell behind. Now, what do the adults do once they get out of the shell? Well, they hang around the trees and they eat the sap out of the trees. They don't eat the leaves or the bark, just the sap. And they, then they make lots and lots of horrible noise. Now, they do this for a reason. There are noises that the male uh, adults make is to attract the females, but it's also to warn if predators are around. But because there's so many of the cicadas in the tree, because so many have come out of the ground, the cicadas all are together and they make a really, really loud sound. So it's become sometimes overpowering. This summer, when I went by a tree covered with cicadas, it was so loud, I almost had to cover my ears. It's unbelievable. Well, anyway, so then the cicadas, they eat the sap from the trees, they lay new eggs that will one day turn into nymphs, and then they die. So their life cycle is very interesting, very different from other insects because of how long they live underground. In the United States, there are some some that live underground for up to 17 years and then they come out turn into adults and die so if you want to learn more about cicadas i'm going to try and make a susie the scientist video for you for you guys that i will share with your teachers if you want to learn more about cicadas okay it was good to see you and i'll see you again next time fascinating susie and I think I used to eat those. I used to hear those as a kid, did I? Okay, say that out loud. I used to hear those as a kid. <laughs> I didn't have any idea what that was about. That's all the time we have for Okie News today. Join us next Friday for another thrilling event. Hopefully we get to go back to school someday.